All right, well, here's what we got working on today. I know it's a little dark. I don't have any flashlight, though. Uh, here's my vacuum flush toilet. And this is the issue that I'm having. When this tries to build pressure, it gets to a certain point and then stops like it should. Um, but mine wasn't. Mine was just going, you know, it's continually running, continually running. And we'd have to shut it off at the breaker. Um... But when you flush the toilet, there was definitely vacuum. So it was making building vacuum, but not enough. So then I went on to this, this little pressure gate, this pressure thing here, pressure sensor or whatever, trigger. Um, when this builds pressure, it pushes this spring-loaded um, this spring-loaded plunger in here. It makes contact with a little electric button, and that's what shuts the pump off. So when it's... You know no pressure in there that's moved open and it keeps building well mine's not building so uh, at first it was this tube here because this is just kind of a pressure fit in there and sometimes that would work its way out and it would suck air in there and then it wouldn't uh, create a vacuum uh, I've since cleaned that grommet up real nice and cleaned everything around it so that is not the issue anymore so now what I'm thinking is the duck valves. There's one in here, and there's one in here. Um, I'm going to pull this apart now to get to the duck valves, and we will go ahead and fix them. So the first thing I need to do is just loosen up these bolts to get this motor uh, loose. Because once I pull this hose off, I can pull this duck valve out. But then i got to move the motor back a little bit, unscrew that, and it'll slide over. And then I can get that duck valve out. So I'll put you down here for a second and get to it, and I'll get right back to you. The keys to making this job as is, is, uh, least nasty as it possibly can is uh, a flush laundry detergent. Um, uh, on Sunday, a whole bunch of times, so now when I pull off this hose, there's a little residual water in there, but it's just it just smells like laundry detergent. So now that that's off, I'm just going to clean these up a little bit, and we'll get to that duct valve. Right, on my particular, on my uh, my mach my uh, pump here, my vacuum vacuum pump. Um, I pull the bolts out. And see, they're on sliders. You can just pull it out or you know slide the motor back. But I don't want to do that. What I want to do is just unthread this coupler. And what that does is it pushes the motor away. Now that there's no bolts on it. And then I can just unhook this. Um, there's a couple of wires up here to unhook, and that'll free up the motor and get to the uh, duct valve in there. So I'm gonna just keep loosening this thing here. And as you can see, there's probably a little bit of stuff still in there. So might be a little nasty. There's our culprit. Look at that. Somebody freaking flushed a freaking wet wipe. I'll bore you with all the nastiness, but you can't flush anything but marine toilet paper in these things. It doesn't work. So there's the issue right there. It doesn't smell like anything because, like I said, there's uh, laundry detergent all through there, but that's a freaking, that's a freaking, um, a wet wiper or a, or a, a sanita or um what do you call it? I got them in the I got them in the bathroom for wiping up uh wiping up spills um a, a sanitizing rag you know for wiping around the toilets and stuff. Some asshole flushed that. Damn it! All right, get this apart, get this fixed. All right, well it's pretty gross to look at, but um you know if you're working on your toilet, this is what you gotta see. So excuse the nastiness, but it is what it is. So there is some of the wet wipe that came out, that came out of the, um, I pulled it off, I pulled that part, oh, it's right here, this part came out, there was a wet wipe wrapped around the end there, that's the pickup, and it was up into the, you know, kind of shooting out the end, so it went from around here, up, and then in, and it was kind of blocking off uh, the duck bill, 
the duck valve, the duck bill. You can see why it's called the duck bill valve. Because it looks like a duck bill. Um, it's kind of gross right now, but a lot of that is uh, it's like calcium. Uh, you know, you get hard water and, of course, urine and all that stuff, and you're going to get calcium on it. But that part of that stuff was blocking that duck bill. Uh, and then this one, you can see how it's kind of, it's really kind of um, chewed up. Well, it's not. It's just got it's just got calcium on it. it. Makes it makes it stiff. I don't have any duck bills with me or duck bells with me, so I'm gonna take these two out. And I think there's a third one by in here, and then one back in here. I gotta pull that off. Take them all out on the dock. Scrub them with bleach, and um, and scrub them down real well up on the lawn. I'm not gonna do it on the dock, but up on the lawn, scrub them out real good. And I've done it before, and, and you can get all that stuff off and it gets right back to nice rubber again. So let me get that down on the uh, on the grass and I'll show you what I did. All right, well, I got all the duck bills, duck bill valves, whatever, cleaned out, cleaned out all the pipe pipes, got the piece of nastiness, there's that, and then there was more inside there. So we got all that out of there. Now I'm going to go ahead and start putting this together, put the duck bills in, and show you what it's like. Okay, um, I went to the store and picked up new duck, duck bills. You see how, see that opening? On my old ones that I reinstalled just for temporary, they're stuck like that. So they don't, they don't create enough suction because the water pressure gets behind this and shuts these and then creates pressure. Uh, but uh, I'm losing it. Like it, it pressurizes fine, but then after it sits for an hour or two, then these hear the toilet cycle again. So you know it's not working. So I went and got new duck bills, and I'm gonna take this back apart and show you how to change them real quick. It is a messy job. If you if you have an issue with your toilet and the duck bill and the toilet isn't pressurizing after you flushed it and it's got fresh waste in it, then, you know, be prepared for kind of a, a messy ride. But mine, um, you know, I, like I said earlier in the video, it's a few days later, um, I, uh, I flushed a bunch of uh, laundry detergent, and that seems to help quite a bit. So, so the only thing that's been flushed in here since I started working on this the other day is uh, just just water so mine is just really there's no there's no smell or there's no waste or anything like that but yeah be prepared get yourself some rubber gloves and uh, be prepared for a bit of a mess it's usually this this pipe here because it's it's up like this and this is where the uh, where it pumps up into the uh, holding tank so when you unhook all this, this is uh, going to be full of water. So when you tip it down like that, it's going to pour out and it's going to have, you know, nasty stuff in it. <clears throat> so let me just get this last bolt out here. I think you guys can see. I think you can see that. Okay. So now, to get the pump away, you have to loosen this, this thing here, and as you loosen this, the pump will start backing off. And then it'll expose the duct bills. Okay, so, this is what you have to do. Oh, I remember. I don't have the proper tools for this right now. What did I use? I used, where'd that little thing go? Hang on, be right back. Smaller one, but I don't want to ruin the threads on this. So I got these little, little uh, filter wrenches with a rubber strap on it. And that seemed to be able to take this out real good. Once you take this piece out here, you're gonna see there's a duck bill right here. Comes out. And then there's one in there. So you gotta pull them both out. And you see the direction. The direction is this way because water pumps in this way. So it's gonna go 
in the big opening and then squirt through the uh, the thin part. So everything is aiming, everything is aiming towards the tank. Jesus, a little bit of water. So, so the just the installation is really easy. You can put them in any way you want. I mean, as long as they're this direction, but they can be up, down, or sideways. And then put in this piece here. That. And put the other one in. So that is installation complete on that side. This side is pretty much the same thing. Twist off this part here. And there's a duck bill. There's a duck bill in here. Put another one in that and then this part comes off you see oh yeah see the duckbill see how it is it's open you don't want that i'll show you what happens well i mean you, you know what happens it doesn't it doesn't uh hold pressure so that's why you gotta change these out so let's get this one out yeah one in. And you can see, see how it's closed? Yeah, that's how you want it. So this one screws in here. You don't have to get crazy when you tighten these things either. You know, it's got a rubber seal against it. You just want to tighten them up kind of like you would tighten up a, a fuel filter on a car. You don't use a wrench or anything. You just tighten it by hand and just snug it down. And that's all you really want. Okay. This one's facing up or close to it. So then line it up. Careful not to cross thread like I am. That's cross thread. And just snug that down. And now the holes all line up where the bolts were. And it's cool because this tank has got those uh, little threaded mollies in there, so there's no nuts or anything. You just screw the bolt down in there with the washer. And then I'm going to go ahead, put the back two on, tighten them down. I'll turn you back on when I hook this up and give it a test. Hmm? You helping me out down here? Yeah. Yeah, you're a good boy. I'll be up in a minute. Okay. So now uh, that we have all that put back in, gotta hook the hoses back up. This one's a little bit difficult because um, hose isn't super super flexible, and I can't doesn't go up any higher. So you kind of gotta, on mine at least, tip this back. Get it started. that and this is the this hose goes from the this goes from the toilet and it gets suction this uh, this 
pump here creates suction in this tank okay and it pulls the water waste from the toilet down into this first part of the holding tank here and once this has stuff in it the pump then pumps it up that right angle elbow through here and then out that way and into the holding tank so that's what this this thing works this is like a vacuum chamber to suck everything <clears throat> out of the toilet and then pump it back so now this is all connected um, I lost a screw to this thing I gotta find one but now this is all connected I'm going to go put some water in the holding tank and then we'll get this thing started so I'll be right back all right I got the uh, water tank filled and now I'm just gonna throw the the breaker for the head and this thing will fire up we'll see we'll see what happens Okay, so I might need to make an adjustment. Um, we'll see how much pressure we have though. Plenty, plenty of pressure. You can hear the water going through. And then when you hear it clicking like that, that's pretty much the water is empty out of that first holding tank. So now what it's doing is building pressure in the tank. And it likes to build it for, I got it set, I don't know how many PSI, but I have it set um, pretty much what factory was. So about 30 or 40 seconds, and then it's pressurized. That's it. That's how you change your duck bills. There's the old ones. Here, I'll show you what they... Well, I did. I already showed you how they are, how the gaps. This one's that too bad. This one here, see that? That's that's how it was just sitting. So, you know, that doesn't work. So now that those are in there. I'm just gonna um, sanitize this, spray some, spray some bleach water in there, and just wipe everything down. And then uh, that's it for this one. So if you could, please rate, comment, subscribe, and have a great day.